The long collaboration between Catholic University and Providence Hospital has touched many lives. It was the dawn of the Civil War when the Daughters of Charity founded Providence Hospital. The science of nursing was still in its infancy, and the hospital established one of the nation's first nursing schools. As Providence grew, the 20th century brought rapid advances in medical science, and nursing was changing too. In the 1930s, at nearby Catholic University, an inspired educator, Sister Olivia Gowan, began teaching a modest set of nursing courses. She later recalled, some of the university professors were skeptical when these new women, religious and lay, began to appear in the classrooms and halls. But the program was a great success and soon became the School of Nursing Education. It provided the ideal partner for Providence Hospital. In around 1935, uh, the hospital training school here at Providence recognized that the nurses not only needed education in basic nursing skills, but they also needed to lay a firm foundation in the sciences. So they contacted Sister Olivia, and we at Catholic University of America began offering science courses to nurses here at Providence. So for the last 80 plus years, we've had a very, very positive relationship. Today, Catholic University's nursing students receive real-world clinical experience at Providence, working with patients and learning from veteran healthcare professionals. We learned so much at school, and it's great to be able to apply what we've learned the past couple of years and to really advocate for our patient and to practice what we've been taught at school. I think it's important to get out of the classroom and work hands-on with our patients because our profession is a hands-on occupation. Both physically and emotionally, I think it's very important for us as nurses to make our patients feel as comfortable as possible. So if they are vulnerable, they, they need reassurance and that's our job. Nurses here are great. They really mentor us and guide us through the different steps. And so it's been a very positive experience here. Turn it upside down and just squeeze it again to get it coming back in there. You see? Mm -hmm. As digital technology transforms healthcare, the partnership between Catholic University and Providence Hospital is also advancing in new and exciting ways. I'll tell you more about that. Please join me in welcoming Secretary Hilda Solis to Catholic University. Like working together with the help of multi million dollar grants from the U.S. Department of Labor to bring the benefits of electronic health records to our patients. So I want to congratulate you on your award here at Catholic University, invite other universities to get involved in this competition. Without the partnership of Providence and other uh, private sector communities, we wouldn't be where we are today. This grant will ensure that the DC region's doctors, nurses, and other healthcare providers do have the systems, do have the knowledge, and do have the skills they need to care for our citizens. Today, the mission of the Daughters of Charity, caring for the sick and underserved, continues. The work of Sister Olivia, training healers, continues. Providence Hospital and Catholic University, working together, growing together, driven by faith and healing. Everyone, regardless of um, where you live, where you're from, what you do, everyone gets sick, so everyone deserves quality care. Providence, like Catholic, is missions focused. So we believe not only in caring for the mind and the body, but the spirit as well. That is one of the things that's really kept this partnership going, is that we share a common vision for healthcare in America.